Hey guys, my name is Sean and I create memories with a click. Welcome back to the channel. It's been about 14 months since I had my first experience with the RF 28 to 70 F2. This was a lens that I wanted to get because it was in high demand about a year ago. It still is to today, but I rented it for the first time. And after renting it, I knew that this was a lens that I wanted. So of course everybody was saying, it's so magical. It can take the place of two or three primes. Well, let me tell you, I don't know about all of that, but for me, it's the versatility. This lens have become my favorite lens in my kit. It has become the workhorse. It stays on my camera most of the time. So my first lens I want to say was, yes, my first lens was the RF 51.2. That was my first big boy lens, right? Then I got the 35.18. Then I got the 85.12, all RF lenses. And when I got this, the game changed. All of the other lenses took a back seat because it's so versatile. But man, when I tell you I can do a whole event, I can do a whole shoot and I'm just in there in my groove and I forget that I need any other lens or that I got any other lens in my bag. Yo, it's the versatility for me. So let's talk about the cons. There are only two cons for me when it comes to this lens. That's the price and the weight. It definitely is the heaviest lens in my bag. It's heavier than the 85-1.2. It's heavier than the 70 to 200. It's, it's a heavy lens and it will, you will feel it on long shoots. No debate about that. But the pros far outweigh the cons. And for me, the biggest pro once again is the versatility. If you are a wedding photographer, this is a must. If you are an event photographer, this is a must. If you're a portrait photographer, this is a must. If you're transitioning from your DSLR cameras and you want to kind of strategically plan a roadmap on what RF lenses you're going to get, this could be the very first one for portrait photographers. The second one would probably be your 85 1.2. It's just an amazing lens. If I had it to do all over again, this would be the first lens that, that I purchased instead of being the, the fourth. So guys, during this video, you will see that I had a photo shoot with the lovely Julia Ashley. We started inside the studio and then we took some shots on the outside and I used the 28 to 70 the entire time. And that is no surprise, that is not uncommon because when I start with this lens, it's very easy for me to forget that I need any other lens and this is what I normally use. So without further ado guys, let's jump into the video. As always, thank you for rocking with me on this channel. If you haven't done so already, please comment, like, and subscribe and share. I will catch you guys on the next one.
I'm Julia Ashley. I just had a photo shoot with Sean and we created memories with a click.